Hi everyone, my name is Martin Hengst and I am going to give you a brief video tutorial on how to generate 3D book covers using Photoshop and actions downloaded from psdcovers.com. So as you can see here, I'm already on psdcovers.com. PSD Covers is a neat site because they have cover actions for practically everything. Uh, they have DVD cases, tablets, magazines, comic books, book covers, pretty much anything that you can imagine they have. Um, it can be a little bit tricky to find because they don't list everything uh, right out in the open. Sometimes you have to do some digging for it, but fortunately I know most of the names of the book templates by heart, so we can just jump directly to what we need. Um, for the process of this tutorial we are going to download two soft cover templates soft cover 5 and soft cover 8 and we're going to use those to generate two different types of 3d covers so let's get started uh, once you're on the psdcovers.com site click on the little magnifying glass here and we're going to type in the name of the template we want to download or the action rather soft cover 005 and it's going to give us a preview of the act of what the action will generate which is right here and then down below that there's this black button that says download and read we want to click on that and then scroll down just a little bit more and there will be a black download action button and that's right here uh, there are going to be some advertisements that pop up up here with download buttons when you get further down the page just ignore those this button right here is the one we're interested in so go ahead and click on download action and we will save that and then we're going to grab soft cover 008 as well okay so there we are download and download again and these actions aren't very big they shouldn't take very long to download at all uh, once they're downloaded, you want to go ahead and use whatever you use to extract zip files to get the actions out of their folders. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. So there's that. And let's grab this one. And there we go. And now we have our actions. So now we're ready to get started in Photoshop. Let's go ahead into Photoshop and we're going to need an image that we want for the front cover so I'm going to go ahead and open that now so that we have it available when we're ready so I'll just open this here and then we're going to need to load the actions you can get to the actions window either by going to window actions or by pressing alt F9 and once you're in the actions window you need to click on this little menu button right here and go to load actions and from there we can actually load the actions that we downloaded there's soft cover 5 and we're going to go ahead and load soft cover 8 and there we go we have our actions so basically how these actions work is you have two steps the first step sets up the template the second step is what actually renders it into the 3d format so we are going to start with soft cover 005 we're going to click on step one and click play and then we're going to wait for a couple seconds while photoshop actually builds the template that we're going to use so it's running through all of its pre-recorded actions and creating all of the layers and adjustments we need to make a 3d image so let's give it a minute to finish there we go all done what we're going to do is take our cover image and paste it here in this dark gray area and then we're going to adjust the spine to read the way we want it to and then this image over on this side here will actually become the top pages of the book once we render it so let's go ahead and get our image over here I'll click here control a to select all copy and paste and once we get it in there we want to expand it to match this dark gray box so we're going to hit control T to transform and just drag this out to fill now don't be worried if when you drag it out your uh, ratios and the image itself gets a little bit distorted because once it renders it'll render the correct way it's just for now when it pulls it out of aspect ratio a little bit it's going to look kind of weird but trust me it'll be fine and let's go ahead and commit that 
So there we have our image for the front cover, our top pages, and the spine. The spine is really easy to edit. Uh, you can come over here, there is a layer for spine right here. So we're going to go ahead and edit this by double clicking and typing the title of our book. And the author's name. And you can make any adjustments to the font that you want. I'm not going to mess with it too much because I just want to get it in there to show you how it works. I'm not going to use this as my cover, so it doesn't really matter. So there you go. There's our spine text. You can actually change the color over here by double clicking where it says color overlay and selecting what color you want. I'm going to go ahead and click a nice blue, bright blue. There we go. And then same thing for the background. If you scroll down in your layers panel a little bit, right here where it says spine section, if you double click cover overlay here and then pick a color and I'm just going to grab something from the image itself. Uh, there we go. And click OK. Do not judge my color choices. They're not the best. I'm just using them as an example. So once we have our spine and our cover image set up, then we are ready to go to step two. However, before you do this, if you are using um, Photoshop Creative Cloud, the very latest version, the most recent update, there is a problem with the way that it renders the 3D graphics. It's only the very latest version of Creative Cloud. If you have anything prior to the most recent update, you should be fine. But if you are running the latest and greatest version, you need to go up here to Image and go to Image Size and change the resolution from 300 to 72. Otherwise, it will not render correctly. Uh, make sure that Resample is unchecked and click OK. And now we're ready to do our rendering. So we'll click on Step 2 and click Play and let it do its thing. So, like step one, it's going to go through and create a bunch of new layers and adjustment layers and then modify your image based on its action parameters. And once that's done, you'll have a fancy 3D cover that looks great and you can save in whatever format and whatever size you want. Um, step two generally takes much longer than step one, so it could take up to a minute, possibly longer on slower computers, but there you go there is your generated 3D cover. That's all there is to it. So, And you can see that the, it picked up the color changes from our adjustment layers and resized the image and put all of the pages up top and everything. Um, so that's it. That's all there is to it. You run two steps, you're done. So we're actually going to go back and close these two images. And we're going to use soft cover 008 and create a new one. So again, we're going to go over here to softcover008, step one, play to create the template. Wait a couple seconds while it builds the template that we need. And the templates pretty much all look the same. And if you zoom in on the templates themselves, they will give you very brief terse instructions on what needs to go where. But it's pretty much self-explanatory. If you look at where the image cover is on the template and drop it in, line it up, click the button, you should be good to go. So here we're going to grab a copy of our cover image. And on this one there is no spine because it's tilted the other way, so we're going to paste that here. And again we're going to transform this and match it up to this bounding box here. And confirm it. And there are no other changes to make because this one doesn't have a spine. Then we're going to, since I'm on the latest version of Creative Cloud, I need to make sure that my resolution is set correctly. Otherwise it does all sorts of strange things to the final render. If you are on the latest version of Photoshop and forget to do that step, it's not a big deal. It will create a file that looks really strange, but then you can just close it and come back to this intermediary step and do it again. And now that we're ready, we're going to click on step two and play. And again, it's going to run through its action on its own, and it will generate a nice 3D cover. This one will be pointed in the other direction. So we'll give that a minute to finish up. 
and there it is there's your 3d cover um, again at this point you can save it as a photoshop file or export it to png or jpeg however you want to deal with it um, once you get it generated you're good to go uh, you may want to take a look around the psdcovers.com site they have a lot of really neat covers uh, if you look in their tag cloud right here you can see that they have hardback covers and softback and they've got all sorts of different um, arrangements so you've got this hardcover here which is hardcover 16 that is very similar to uh, softcover 5 that we did and just scroll through find something that you like and play with it that's the best thing that you can do but it's really simple uh, once you download the action and get it imported you run through step one you adjust your resolution if you need to you run through step two and you're finished so hopefully you found this useful and uh, if you have any questions you can always feel free to contact me on my website which is martinfhengst.com m-a-r-t-i-n-f-h-e-n-g-s-t.com uh, shoot me an email and i'll be happy to help you if i can but that's all for now thanks